Over the past year, the electricity grid in Kyiv has been heavily damaged by Russian missiles, and Ukrainians are struggling to maintain power. Hundreds of thousands of people have fled. For those who remain in Kyiv, the city's transportation system still must carry many passengers every day, but moving people on public transportation has become more difficult. Electro-transport is stopped. Everywhere, all tramways, all trolleybuses are not functioning. It's just the absence of energetic electric transportation. The only electric transportation system still working is underground. The subway needs a lot of energy to run, the equivalent of about 1500 households. Kyiv subway, the metro, is the main transportation system of the capital of Ukraine. But right now, under the martial law, it is something more. It is also a shelter for 100,000 civilians. The Polytechnic Institute station is part of an old Soviet subway designed as a bunker in case of nuclear war. Ukrainian officials say it is still a reliable shelter. There are no sirens on the ground. Here you will be informed about an air raid alert with an announcement. For many people looking for shelter, it's a daily routine. Saving energy remains a priority for the subway. Lighting has been cut by 50%. According to chief engineer Viktor Vuhisky, the subway tunnels will still serve as shelters even in total blackout conditions. Електропостачання метрополітену, тому що я думаю, що зараз це не на часі, але якщо не буде напруги в місті, в центрах живлення, то метрополітен зможе на своїх внутрішніх джерелах працювати і забезпечувати освітлення, вентиляцію. Above ground it's a daily struggle to provide energy in Kyiv. Most houses have electricity for only five hours a day. These days the lighting in the subway is a rare stability point in the city and often the best place to get a mobile connection. Slava Kasim, CGTN, Kyiv, Ukraine.